hey y'all welcome back so in today's video i showed you all how i got this look so it's basically just the sleek ponytail with a braid i left out a few pieces so that i can have you know a little curliness going on and i also have you know some little bangs right here i wanted to kind of switch it up and do something different with my hair Oh, don't mind my paper clip back there. Let me take that out. <laughs> my necklaces are like too long. I don't even know how to take it out. But yeah, um, initially I was going to do like the knotless braid method because I hadn't really seen anyone do the braid that way. You know, I've seen a lot of people do use the scrunchie to attach the braiding hair to the ponytail. I thought the most seamless way would be to use the knotless method. However, I wasn't able to do like the feed-in method, the knotless braid method because my hair is too short and I didn't, I wasn't able to get enough like braiding hair in so that the thickness remains throughout. So what I ended up doing, you know, was the traditional way I saw, I think her name is Raised by Shana. I'm going to leave a link down below so you can go check it out. But yeah, I ended up just doing it that way instead because the knotless method, it was a fail. So, but this is how it turned out. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If y'all want to see how I went from looking a little raggedy to this hairstyle, then continue watching. All right, so I'm done flat ironing and what I'm going to do now is section off the piece for my bangs or the front pieces. I'm also taking out, you know, my little baby hair, little edges. So now for the ponytail, I'm just going to brush all of my hair to the back to get it, you know, in the direction it needs to be. And then I'll go in with a comb.
molding this ponytail and getting it together is I'm just gonna wrap these strips. As far as the hair, this is the Janet collection. It's the value pack. It came with three in here. Um, as you can see, I only have two sections left. As I said, I have been, you know, trying to teach myself how to do some knotless braids so that when it warms up, hopefully I can do that on myself. But yeah, this one is the um the Easy Text pre-stretch 56 inch three pieces in the color 1B. I think I only need one. I think. I'm not sure, but um, I think I only need like one and a half. I don't think I need the full thing. So let me undo this and get this together. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what kind of hair that I'm using. Okay. So essentially what she did is take the hair, okay, put it on the ponytail, leave out one side, Okay. Attach one side of the braiding hair to my hair with the ponytail holder or scrunchie. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I believe it's on there tight enough. Okay, so back to the, the braid. Now I have it on. So I'm just gonna flip the other hair over. That was on the other side. Like I said, yeah, these are tangles. Like it's annoying. Okay, so now I need to take out one piece so that I have something to wrap around the scrunchie. I feel like that's a little too much. around the scrunchie and I'm just going to section that and leave it hanging to the front. Okay, so I need three sections. So the one. And I actually want to leave out like some little curly pieces. So I'm going to take out some hair from this side. Okay. Alright, 
I'm gonna take out a I'm taking out another piece from this side. Just so I can have two pieces, one on each side. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to take out a third piece. Okay, the braid is done. I feel like there's a lot going on with this hair. This hairstyle. So let's get this together. Take out my little I don't know, should I leave this straight or should I curl it? I feel like I should curl it. Just so it's a cohesive look, you know, since the wrist. So this is, finally, this is the finished look. I don't know if there's a bit of a white cast on this side where I put the got to be gel, I mean the Gorilla Glue in that free spray. But if so, I'll just put some oil sheen or something, some oil or something that should take it away. But yeah, this is the final look. I'm about to go throw some makeup on. Film another video, so yeah. Um, it's not too long either. So let me know how y'all like this. Um, I don't know if it's too much with the bangs, but I kind of just have to have something in my face. I didn't want to do just a slick back ponytail because y'all know my head, okay? Okay. <laughs> But yeah, um, that's it. That's all I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. Leave a comment down below if you'll be trying out this hairstyle. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video.